Hi, I'm Mitch Reed and welcome to my vlog. It's been a while since I made a video. I uh, saw a lot of your comments, <clears throat> everybody's comments about where have you been? Is this your, was that your last video? And sorry about that. It's just uh, been very busy. I moved up here to Maine. It's been almost a year and we had a new baby and I got a full-time job working at a music school up here in Yarmouth, Maine. And that's where we're living now. We also moved again. So some of the last videos you saw, you probably saw wood paneling in the back and uh, it was an old house on Old Archer Beach right on the Atlantic Ocean. And now we're living in Yarmouth, Yarmouth Maine and in an apartment. So, um, and life is good. It's very good, just very busy. So sorry I haven't made a video in a while, um, but uh, trying to catch up and I appreciate everybody's um, comments and interest and uh, all the subscribers out there. And I saw a few of you had made uh, some comments, had questions about some of the thing, a couple of things. So can't get to them all, but I'd like to reach out to a few people. Um, and one was uh, a couple of you noticed how uh, that my bow, the tension in my bow is pretty tight sometimes. Um, and I thought that was interesting. Uh, so I was gonna say a few things about that. First of all, I have three bows, and they're all kind of different. Uh, some bows, you really have to tighten them up to get the right sound that you want uh, out of them. So um, sometimes it looks like the hair is really far from the stick, and it might be. All bows are different. Um, if I'm playing Irish tunes or something, I usually don't use as much tension as I do playing Cajun music. The reason why Cajun music, you're really digging in a lot. A um, couple of reasons. One, you're playing with an accordion. Very often you're playing with an accordion. And accordion players are loud. And so you're really having to dig in. Or if you're doing a rhythm. You know, that kind of style. Um, it's a very aggressive style. But again, it's, it's part of Cajun music. But it's also... Um, because you're playing with accordions that are louder than a fiddle. Um, so that's one of the reasons why I'll tighten up my bow for mainly for that reason. So those are the two things. Sometimes bows just are different and you have to really tighten them up to get the sound you want. And then very often you are digging in more. So you are having to kind of tighten a bow up a little bit more say, than you would play if you played an Irish tune or, or maybe you were playing violin, studying classical music or something like that. Um, the other question I had too was, um, uh, about what kind of tuner that I use because in some of the older videos I used to have a clip-on tuner right here and those are the D'Addario tuners um, and I used those for a while and um, I liked them okay and then um, I don't know I think the more stuff you have on your fiddle the more it mutes it and uh, I just like the way the fiddle looks too without anything on it <laughs> so uh, that's why I like this pickup too that I use because it doesn't have, you know, a bunch of stuff clamped onto the fiddle. And I, I truly believe it, it resonates better that way. Um, but actually I use, when I do use a tuner, I do use just my iPhone and I have, um, there's an app called Clear Tune, which I know a lot of people use. So it looks like that, oh, that kind of thing. And that's just on my iPhone and it's just, a. Um, it's just a, a, a tuner that can be used um, on any instrument at all. So I use it for all, all the instruments. So now I'm teaching a lot of different types of instruments at this music school. I'm teaching um, ukulele, mandolin, guitar, and fiddle, and also upright bass. So very busy with that, but still studying a lot of old Cajun tunes, trying to dig up old tunes. Um, I'm all about trying to find some of the old rare stuff. Um, it's good to know the standards, so definitely learn your standards. Um, but you know, when you've been playing music, Cajun music for 35 years, <laughs> it gets to where you know you start wanting to find and learn new tunes, and even write new tunes. You know, so I'm working on all that stuff. But um, yeah, so I'll leave you with a tune, a waltz that I learned that I found called. La Vos de Boboy Fontenot, and Boboy Fontenot was a great fiddler. He, um, he won the Mamu Fiddle Contest so many times that they wouldn't allow him to enter anymore. And uh, 
You don't really find his name on a lot of recordings. Um, he had a really interesting fiddle. Uh, he had these butterflies on his fiddle. He had one here and one here and one here, I believe. And there were just these big butterfly stickers and I thought that was kind of interesting. He also like, he was kind of dark complected. He had black, black hair and he slicked his hair back with this oil. And he was a very, very nice guy from what everybody said. He liked to drink a lot and uh, very oftentimes he would, you know, enter the Mamu Fiddle Contest, incredible fiddler, go have a few drinks, maybe a few too many, pass out in the back of someone's car and he wouldn't find out he won the contest until maybe a couple of days later or something. So he was that kind of, you know, that kind of fiddling fun, you know. So uh, we're going to do a waltz. I'll do a waltz that somebody, I guess, heard him play and uh, just named it, named it after him. It's called La Valse de Baboy Fontenot. And he was from Mamou, greatest, greatest town on earth. La Valse de Baboy Fontenot. Here we go. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope I can keep pumping out videos and blogs and y'all keep checking them out. All right, thank you so much. Stay inspired, keep on fiddling.